but year by year continually make the commas thou are too perfect. He said if they could have been perfect with animal sacrifices, then would they have not ceased to be offered because the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. He says, but in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again of sins every year. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sin. And so even as we look at how God spared Adam and Eve from immediate death, we see that the thing that helped them escape immediate death was that the blood was shed. That animal's blood had to be shed on that occasion so that they could live because God has always used blood in the saving of his people. Right. Do you not remember in Exodus chapter 12 and beginning at verse number 12 that when God was preparing to send the destroyer throughout all the land of Egypt that the only way his children could be spared by the death angel was that they had to have blood on the lintel and on the door Post. In Exodus chapter 12 and beginning at verse number 12, the Bible tells us that Moses informed the people that the Lord said he would pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt will I execute my judgment. I am the Lord, and the blood shall be to you for a token of on the houses where ye are and when I see the blood I will pass over you. Did you not see that my brothers and sisters once more and again the Bible informs us that God has always used blood in the saving of his people in the Old Testament in order for God's people to be spared. There had to be an element of blood if that's the way it was in the Old Testament then the Bible also confirms the fact that that's the way it is even in the New Testament. God is still using blood today to save his people in Hebrews chapter 9 and beginning at verse number 11. Look there with me if you will in Hebrews chapter 9 and beginning at verse number 11 we see that God is still using blood today the Bible says, but Christ being come and high priest of good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands. That is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctifier to the purifying of the flesh how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God and for this cause he is the mediator of the new testament that by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. Even here, the Hebrew writer shows us that one of those reasons why the Lord allowed animals to be sacrificed was to allow their blood to stand in their stead until the time that Jesus came. Who with his blood, the blood of Jesus had the power to reach back and get all of those transgressions that happened under the first testament and then it has the power to save those of us under this testament and it still has the power to go forth into the future for those who are yet to come. The Bible shows us emphatically that God is still using blood today. Listen to what Jesus said himself in Matthew chapter 26 and beginning at verse number 27 in Matthew chapter 26 and beginning at verse number 27 the Bible says and he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it 
and unto them saying drink ye all of it for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins God is still using blood today in Colossians chapter 1 and beginning at verse number 12 we see that God is still using blood in the saving of mankind Colossians chapter 1 and beginning at verse number 12 the Bible says giving thanks unto the Father which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light who have delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins and so when it comes to the saving of mankind the Bible shows us emphatically that blood has always been in the plan. Salvation is God's business and God decided that blood had to be used but not only blood but when you look at the Bible again you see that there was another element involved in the salvation of man and that is some water. Well when you look back at Noah's day you find in Genesis chapter 6 and began in that verse number 5 that God looked down upon the corrupt world and decided that the world needed purifying. Mankind had corrupted his way upon the earth to the extent the Bible says in verse number 5 of chapter 6 of the book of Genesis that God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually drop down with me to verse number 11 and the Bible says the earth also was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence and God looked upon the earth and behold it was corrupt for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth and God said unto Noah that the end of all flesh is come before me for the earth is filled with violence drop down to verse number 17 God is going to tell Noah what he's going to do about the corruptness that's upon the earth he said and behold I even I do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die and so we see that God was going to use the waters of a flood to purify the earth from destroy by destroying mankind but the Bible in informs us that the same waters that God used to destroy the earth uh, the same waters that God used to get rid of wicked man uh, is the same waters that God used to save Noah and his family look with me at first Peter chapter 3 uh, and beginning at verse number 20 it's the same waters that God used to destroy man it was the same waters that the Bible says that God used to save Noah and his family. Therefore, in 1 Peter chapter 3, and beginning at verse number 20, the Bible says, which sometime were disobedient when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah. God gave old sinful man 120 years to get himself together after God explained to Noah that the end of all flesh is before me. He said, yeah, his days are going to be 120 years. I'm going to give him 120 years of grace period so he can turn from his wicked ways. At the end of the grace period, the Bible says, God was going to bring that flood of waters and so Peter informs us that that 120 year period was the long suffering of God that was waiting in the days of Noah while Noah was preparing that ark. Then it says wherein few that is eight souls were saved by water the same water that God used to destroy a wicked and sinful man is the same water 
that God used to save Noah.